Welcome back to another Matrix video. Today we're switching it up. We're gonna be asking a real estate agent some questions on resale value of basement remodeling and how much value you can add to your home. We're here with Greg Cerrone of XR Realty, one of the largest realty firms in the Chicagoland area. Let's go ask him some questions. Well, Greg, thanks for having us. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Beautiful place you got here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, absolutely. We're here to talk a little bit about basements and what type of value they're adding to a property. Now, we've been getting a lot of correspondence from our clients and our okay. customers, okay. and they're talking about, you know, what type of value a basement can mm -hmm. add to a property. Could you expound on that? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about, from your perspective, what that means. Yeah, basement, man, I, I gotta say the best part of the house. Sometimes it, it makes the house or it breaks it. We'd agree with that. Uh, I would agree with that. A hundred percent. Usually even people love the house on top. I'm like, hey, let's go check the basement. And if the basement already starts smelling mildew or it's moldy, they get out and you know, and I recommend them to get out. But anyways, on a basement, it's huge. It's huge, man, because sometimes, depending on the area you're at, it could add like 100 to 150 grand wow. of value. Depend what the area, right? Right. If you're in a different kind of area where the average sale is 300,000, of course, it's not gonna add 100, 150. Correct. Then you look at the numbers and you guys probably will advise you know, differently. Yeah, and obviously it probably has to do with, you know, what you're adding as well, a bedroom, a bathroom, some 100%. features. What do you look for yeah. in terms of features when you're yeah. looking at a finished space? Yeah, we're looking at, you know, most of the people love to have a second bathroom, second mm -hmm. or third bathroom, because they, let's say their family got, you know, larger and they have like that teenager daughter like I have, and she needs her own bathroom for her for herself, <laughs> right? right? For hours and, at a time. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So having a basement bathroom <laughs> is huge. And I know you guys do them, right? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So most of the properties that we're going to be renovating or remodeling are going to include a, in a bedroom okay. so with egress oh, and an nice. extra bathroom, some living space. Uh, that, that's funny you say that. I'm sorry to interrupt you. The sorry. egress is huge. A lot of people don't understand because a lot of people do illegal basements, believe it or not. And sometimes the basement, the base, the bedroom basement always gets dinged all the time because it doesn't have an egress window. And then you have violations, you're not up to code, and you have all kinds of problems. Yeah. That's a good call out because yeah. before I worked with Matrix, mm -hmm. um, I'm from a long line of DIYers. Mm. Uh, we do our own uh, projects, wow. we do our own remodeling, but we weren't necessarily doing them above board, so to speak. So we were, <laughs> we were finishing those basements without egress. I had my Okay. childhood bedroom in a basement myself we did a little bit of hanging it. out playing video games stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. so um now one thing that we also skimped out on when i was doing that type of work was the materials now matrix we pride ourselves on using the best possible materials available is there anything that a buyer or a potential customer or client for yourself can look at in terms of materials what's a telltale sign that there's quality work that's been done yeah we we could tell right away Buyers in these days, trust me, they're more savvy than I am. You know, they in these days, you know, everybody has a guy that, you know, they talk with or they have social media and they have the phone, right? You right. get a lot of information. So you could tell we go in a basement and when we see like it's all like, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong, Menard's, pro, you know, material, mm -hmm. we could tell right away, you know, from the molding, from the flooring, from the lighting or in the bathrooms. So I know you guys do a little bit, a lot yeah. better than Menard's, right? And we're, yeah, we're doing, a, <laughs> we're doing some high-end re renovations and we want to bring a space to the customer that's going to last a lifetime. So okay. you can't have those shoddy press board cabinets. Okay. Um, we have custom wood cabinets. We're doing custom nice. cabinets. You know, and we have something called the forever wall that we utilize too, because below the surface is really okay. what matters when it comes to our projects, at least from our perspective, because we're going to be warranting that product. We're going to take care of the work yeah. down the line if anything were to occur. And so we have to use materials that aren't gonna yeah. have us out to their home. What's the forever wall, if I could ask? Forever wall is actually gonna be three components. So okay. it's gonna be galvanized steel studs that we okay. use. So you, the timber's not gonna break down over time. It won't, wow. it resists mold and mildew. Wow. We also use a spray foam in there. Okay. It's a two pound closed cell spray foam. So wow. It's gonna give you a really high R value in the walls. 
Wow. Obviously very important in Chicago. It gets pretty uh, cold there, right? The Windy yeah. City. Minus 20. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> minus 20, you know, up in Wisconsin where I'm from, yeah. minus 30, 40, whatever Depend, you have right? you. Yeah. Um, it's nice to be able to go down to your sanctuary and still yep. be warm, right? That's really cool. And then we also have a purple board substrate, again, resisting mold and mildew so that it. we can give you a barrier yeah. against those not only the temperature, but that dampness, that cold yep. damp feeling that you get in the basement. Yep. All the time, said, all the time. You can always tell the quality of the work if you can yep. go downstairs and you still feel that warm and inviting atmosphere. Yep, I love it. Um, you know, that probably makes it a little bit easier to sell yeah. a home when you have that. Yeah, 100%. Right? And then it'll, it'll save them cost too, right? They got to redo it later on or even on heating, a, a heating cost, you know, or, or electric if you're doing cooling later on. Mm -hmm. But so it, it all maintain that temperature all year long. Yeah, for sure. When you're doing a good basement. So I got to ask you, is there some cool uh, finished spaces you've ran into in your real estate days? Uh, any theaters, bars, anything you can recall? Yeah, of course. You know, you always have the typical man cave, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen all kind of stuff. You know, I've seen from basketball courts, you know, depending on depend where you're at. Yeah. And, uh, and from a ballerina room for, for the daughter, for you sure. know? For sure. So a little bit of everything. But I think you guys pretty much cover it all, right? Yeah, we, we do definitely do. We specialize in kind of taking the wants, needs, and wishes of our customers mm -hmm. in consideration. Um, you know, because obviously we're, we're usually dealing with people that are looking at a forever space, forever okay. wall, forever space. Okay. Um, they're designing a space that is gonna be conducive to what they're trying to accomplish. Like if that's extra, like an in-law suite, if okay. you wanna have the yeah. in-laws that move in with you, or you have a, a childcare area, or yeah. you just have a, um, play area for your kids or a theater or a bar, the man cave, like yeah. you said there, yeah. Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, those are some really popular additions that we take care of, but there's things that are kind of like stand the test of time. You know, the extra bedroom, the extra bathroom, that entertainment space, but it's really about expanding yeah. that home. It's a good way for people who are now in the homes that they're going to yeah. be in for a little while to upgrade the home, right. add to the space without right. doing a complete addition. Yeah, exactly. Addition or moving, right? Yep. And getting a higher rate or going crazy with, uh, you know, buying and selling. Here, you'd probably you know, want them to buy and wrong, sell, but. I want it, but listen, but at the end of the day, I, I'm all about relationships. Yep. So if they're happy with their home, they will give me another client. So that's not a big deal. Yep. And uh, and if you add, if you have a thousand, a thousand square feet or let's say 1500 square feet home and all of a sudden the basement, you double that square footage by finishing the basement mm -hmm. and it becomes 3000. It's huge for a family. Right. And I've, uh, you know, I'm glad you brought up relationship building, you know, at XR, you guys are yep. pretty huge with that. We talked about that before the video and, we did, yeah. um, you know, same way with matrix, we're looking to build relationships because we have a lot of repeat customers. Yeah. So you might have a starter home where you yeah. finish a basement with us and five to 10 years down the line, you're also, they call you. Yep but then they call us because right. they, they have a perfect home that just needs a little bit more. Yeah, needs a little yeah. bit more. And we, we've seen that a lot of new builds are actually, they take care of the- The top. The top, but yeah. not the bottom. Never right? the bottom, and almost never. Never the bottom, right? Yeah, so never the bottom, yeah. In those situations, you know, building those relationships and those repeat customers, yeah. but what does it take to build a relationship with you? What do you look for in a company that you're able yeah. to- Promote. You know what? I want to make sure that my, I'll tell you the truth, I want to make sure my phone doesn't ring them complaining. <laughs> you know, that's really what it comes down to. I want to make sure I see them at a party and they're happy. They're like, you know, Greg, Matrix was a, a great company, yep. we're super satisfied. And when I get that, that's that's all I need. Because yeah. then yeah. if they know they could trust me on anything else and they'll call me again. So, yeah. and I know you guys by experience, you know, by other referrals in the past, you guys done that. Absolutely. So that's great. No, we pride ourselves on relationships, not only in business partnerships, but for our clients as well. Taking that space above and beyond, using quality building materials, um, taking into consideration the needs, wants, and wishes of all of our clients. Yep. And at the end of the day, you know, hopefully getting them a little bit more value for their home, their product, yep. um, that we are able to install for them so that they're able to stay there for a long time. But if they don't, it's a huge value added. A huge, home. yeah, huge, huge. And, and, or it'll be super easy to sell because you're always gonna beat everybody. If you have a nice, you know, sick basement, you're gonna sell before anybody else. Well, that's incredible that's sure. insight. I appreciate it, Greg. Um, you know, I appreciate you sitting down. Yeah. You know, we had a lot of questions from our, um, you know, from our clients yeah. and people potentially doing a basement. You know, if we're not gonna be in the home for the long term, what type of value can we add 
with this space, with a bedroom, with a bathroom? I think you answered that question perfectly. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and I appreciate you having us. Um, My you pleasure. Know, and hit up Greg at XR if you're looking to buy or sell a home. Um, if you're looking to renovate a basement, you know, as always at Matrix Home Solutions, it's built for you. Thank you.